Ah, tu sei un po' l'italiano. Mi fa piacere, poco poco, mi fa piacere. Me ne vado. Cosa sai dire di italiano? Me ne vado. Cosa sai dire di italiano? Prova il microfono. Prova. Prova il microfono. Sì, è a posto. Ok, andiamo. Allora, facciamo una missione. La mia missione. È un po' che è funzionato sto link del gioco. Minchia, ma questo qua non è vero. Che cazzo? Ma è questa la missione? No. Che cazzo è sto stronzo che sta qua? Me mega potente. Ma ah, sono preso. Porca trota. Ma chi è questo? Mi sta a ma dove era uno? non ho perso no è qua oh, va 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 ma se lo sto facendo no mi sto facendo una bella ma azzo che è niente no no mi sto facendo Lo cazzo sei nato, bello mio. Ma sta qua. potente boh no la no, madonna mi era dov'è no non dove cazzo sta sto coso mi sono perso è un crimine mi sono perso dentro la mappa ma è già finito la volta oh è finita che sfida vabbè andiamo qua tanto dobbiamo provare se funziona il cazzo il gioco oppure no ma ho messo basso eh Incredible Dai dai Ah è quello lì da sopra mi ha beccato Che stronzo
Ah, c'è sta un'altra cosa fa. Perché faccio un po' di messo in cina così? No, ah no, perché devo continuare questa, però aspetta, se funziona, faccio un po' di. Ah, evento pubblico imminente, dove? Evento pubblico imminente? Entro il nome male messo qua, l'evento pubblico imminente. Quando cazzo sta? Ah, qua, qua ho visto, ho visto, ho visto. No, facciamo un po' di eventi pubblici, così almeno non mi cade il gioco. Eh. Poi farò una missione. Faccio un po' di livellaggio. E via. Fresco people, good evening. I do some level because uh, I have the problem of the cabbage error. And uh, if I do some missions uh, after the ending of it, the game uh, doesn't work. Okay. I can do only one mission per day. with my router I change uh, one option of my router and uh, I, I hope uh, the game is working I hope Signor Conti continui lo segno. Good evening, Presca people. Good evening. We are Ita I'm Italian people. This is the, the Italian community. Spero che ci sia qualcun altro che fa sta cazzo di cose che non, non me lo ritrovo da solo. Ah, e... 
trovo da solo veramente A tutto il personale, catch in avvicinamento. Impronta termica indica lo scarico di armamenti. Smammate, caduti! O li farete smammare? Cazzo, via, 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 via. Non ti che qua c'era questa cosa gigantesca. Eh, ma da solo penso che non riuscirò mai a distruggere. Di pollo, 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 vieni pollo, vieni. Spidi, spidi. Ah, finalmente non guarda più. l'ultimo cannone rovente. Le squadre di incursione non li prenderanno. Sì, vabbè, di e mezzo, non c'è la Minchia, su due? Fermate, sono due. Oh! Puttana Eva, mi ha fatto andare giù. Cazzo è successo? Ogni volta vado giù eh, Che cazzo è sta roba? Aspetta, fammi provare il tutto 
a lot of things and I don't know what I did. I don't understand. Hello, Presco people. Good evening. Cioè, tutta roba potenzialmente non ho fatto. Devo capire meglio come funge quella cosa del... Mica l'ho capita. La reliquia, sì, questa. Mm. Ok. Parla. Scusate un attimo.
Ciao lei. Ma che è finito già la live? Io pensavo che arrivavi fino alle 2 del mattino. Per il momento sì, perché ancora non ho fatto la missione. <ride> Sto facendo altro, tanto per divertirmi. Eh. Ma qua è tutto il livello 10. Ok. Ah, vado a farla adesso la missione, va. Ah, sei stanca. Mi spiace. La barra della vita... La tua barra della vita funziona. Giusto? Eh, dunque adesso aspettiamo che la gemella arrivi, che così almeno possiamo far... Possiamo far scendere la tua barra della vita. Facci sapere quando ritorna. La gemella perversa. Ah, 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 ah. Anche perché ne devi mettere un bel po' di persone che ho l'ha fatto automaticamente. Gli hai tolti le persone che ti sono venute a, far, a mettere il follo dalla vita. Ah, ma poi come fai a uccidere il tuo Gigetto là? Gigetto come, come, fu, come, come fa a morire? Perché ho visto che anche lui c'è una barra della vita. Si può togliere anche a Gigino. Ah, Gigino, vero? Gigino. La barra della vita. Ma io questa non ho già fatta attenzione. No, non ti ho detto andiamo a berci una birra. Ti ho detto la barra, non la birra. Che c'entra lei la birra? Ah, vabbè, vado a fare la campagna, va. Tanto. Via. Come vedi io non utilizzo proprio nulla. Io tranquillamente aspetto... Oh, 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 oh. Ok. Io faccio solo gaming. Queste cose non mi interessano. Come anche ha visto non c'erano manco i giveaway. Sono cose... Oh, livello 10 Io sono una persona seria No, a me piace solo giocare Gaming, parlare Mi piace parlare con la gente Non mi frega dei taglieri Forse sbaglio io, non lo so Preferisco più parlare che non Ah, c'ho Ok una di roba 
Sono un cerchio però non capisco che dove cazzo che cazzo ce faccio Lui? Lo scoprirò Vengo pure in live con il pigiama poi eh. Tanto visto che sono molto seri Ok, andiamo, avviamo la missione, l'unica missione che potrò fare, però va bene. Dunque, penso che ci perderò altri 30 minuti e poi vedremo se continuerò oppure no. Se potrò continuare. Minchia, c'è il cazzetto che mi ha detto che ora sei entrato in live, da mezz'ora che stai scrivendo. Però perché mi ha scritto due volte la stessa? Eh, guarda, te l'ho riscritto. Eh. Ti ho riscritto nei messaggi privati. Io perché c'ho sto tizio che sta qua? Eh, che sta a fare la stessa cosa? Non dire che devo volare così in alto? Già, una cosa del genere può voler dire solo una cosa. Una rete CPU di Uh, sto a fare con sto tizio, ho la missione. Forse Vente. è abbastanza potente da decifrare il segnale cabal intercettato. Oh, 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 oh aspetta, ne ho. Sfortunatamente, non conosciamo l'esatta posizione della rete. Non lo leggo. Poi dovrei ficcanasare cercando di non attirare l'attenzione. Mettere al sicuro questa risorsa potrebbe cambiare la sorte della guerra con la legione rossa. Tanto buonasera a chi è entrato in live, essa. non so chi è. Non so cosa Presentatevi. funziona comunque te lo scrivo dopo lei non ti preoccupare grazie di andare qua sembra che i caduti stessero cercando di rompere questa parete fatto brutto finito andiamo ah bravo il carico a pagina forse il sì, comparativo dell'arcologia si è attivato lo sapevo cerca il terminale d'accesso del sistema operativo puoi usarlo per rintracciare la rete cpu non ti preoccupa Cerca di qualcosa, c'è niente con qua. Sembrerebbe no. Abbiamo tanto tempo. Tanto. Vabbè, ma almeno si legge la, la scusa, eh, ma, ma si legge la chat eh, trasparente? Vabbè, poi che io non mi vedo non mi interessa. Non la leggi? Veramente? Veramente non mi leggi la chat? No! Tanto buonasera a chi sta entrando in live. 
Ah, proprio una leggi. Mannaggia. Allora, aspetta, anzi, faccio un attimino un'ultima. Io sono un fantasma. Non mi vedi, vero? <ride> Tanto per. Sì, così è meglio. Chiudi. Poi a me basta che... Io sono brutto, basta che nessuno mi vede a posto. Sì. Così è meglio. Ok, ho trovato la... <ride> la tua faccia si legge lo stesso. Sei Loch Ness? Sì, tutti i giorni. Mi Loch Ness da solo. Ed ho finito di giocare per me. No, no, no! Cazzo, quando stavo facendo la missione! No, non mi puoi fare questo. Ma ha fatto questo durante la missione. Vabbè, posso pure che cambia gioco, mi sa. In piena missione. Non ci credo, non ci credo. Manco mi ha salvato. Che cazzo. Non ci credo. Eh beh, error. Eh, vabbè. Che schifo. Ormai a fine settimana chiamerò Microsoft. Mi faccio aiutare i soldi perché mi sono rotto. Che due palle. Sono scandalizzato. Un gioco che non funziona. Ma cazzo. Comunque già quello non è quello, eh. Non c'è più un cazzo. Allora, facciamo la prova. Mo rimetto, metto un'altra cosa. Vediamo un attimo. Beh, intanto fammi mettere se sta cosa è più potente, ma Ta. qua non c'ho più nulla, eh. Vabbè, eh B, mo c'è B, c'è una porca. In piena live, questi signori è Destiny 2, Ro gioco rotto che non funziona proprio nulla. Allora, vediamo un attimino, scusatemi un secondo, non chiudo la live, ma faccio un cambiamento. L'ultimo cambiamento e poi basta, significa che non, proprio non, mi vuole, non mi funziona una mazza della... Allora, chiudo, vai, arrivo subito, ok... Scusatemi un attimo che arrivo, eh? Arrivo, arrivo. Allora, nessuno. Ok. Bo, riproviamo. Non funziona, basta. Non è la mia connessione.
la grande verità tanto non funziona non è un mio problema Signore e signori, si cambia il gioco! Grande! Yeah! Cambiamo il gioco. Cambiamo i titoli e arrivo subito. Allora. Beh, va. È proprio a casa, ma se devo mettere... Uno, purtroppo è caduto in piena missione, ma che cazzo di... Tanto me lo faccio rimborsare. Okay, fa tutto da solo. Attenzione, yeah, problemi rete, non c'ho nessun problema di rete, se vuoi che non stai fa un gioco. Allora, ta ta, ok, è andata. Allora, torniamo alla home, fammi rimettere le minutole impostazioni del router, che tanto non è il mio router, il mio router funziona benissimo. Solo un attimo, scusatemi, questo lo scudo, e partiamo con l'altro gioco. Yes. Vai. Did by the light. Nessuno E ok A posto Zanza Te Allora qua ci siamo Buonasera a chi è entrato in live Scusatemi sto facendo delle modifiche Visto che ho problemi Ho problemi ancora con Destiny 2 andato però sai che non è non si attraversa ok
Ogni volta mi sbaglio del bottone, incredibile. Ma perché c'ho. Scusatemi, c'ho un attimino questa che mi sta davanti al televisore. No, aspetta che. Posizioniamo Mettiamoci qua Aspetta così mm. È diventato Tutto in botto una donna E là Ma adesso aspetta La metto davanti la faccio Vediamo un po' se si può fare Un po' così, no? Ciao lei, buonanotte. Ripostati bene. Dov'è la mia faccia? Dov'è? Adesso ci faccio un po' di... Adesso la prossima partita mi prendo un uomo, così almeno mi metto da cinesina. Grazie lei, grazie. Adesso vediamo se riesco a mettere la mia faccia sopra la... Perché mi sa che ogni volta la telecamera si muove. Oh, dai, carica però, eh. Te prego, carica. Dai, dai, eccolo, ci siamo. No, l'ho spostato, mannaggia a me. Oh, oh, vabbè, per farmi una scena. Dunque, lo metto qua. E questo qua sopra. A posto Allora, iniziamo a giocare va. No, 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 no Non è possibile Dove cazzo sta? Uh! È andato via? Ho avuto il panico In questo momento No, 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 no. Dov'è? Io non lo vedo un ca... Io non lo vedo Ah, ecco, no, sta là, sta là, a posto A posto Ma è poi, ma va via Non ti ha detto niente Ma dove sta? Ma io non capisco perché sto stronzo mi sta sopra la testa Sto corvo maledetto Dove l'ha appeso però? Ah, l'ha appeso là. Ma perché questo carro mi sta sulla testa? 
Gli ho fatto qualcosa di male? Io mi è mai venuto in mente che un corpo mi stava sulla, sulla testa per tutto il... Eh, grazie Corvo e te ne sei andato Devi prendere prima questo Proprio con lui, eh. È sempre quello. Boh. che questa sarà una bella E la madonna, mi ha preso pure due. Mi ha messi bene qua. No, fermati, cazzo, fermati, sto arrivando. Ma che rincoglionita. E vaffanculo però. Però aspetta, ci posso... Eh no, mi sta seguendo a me, mi sa. Spark, okay. Madonna, cazzo che sfiga però no, è morto Ne manca uno però non so dove sta Fanculo Oh ma me frega un cazzo di questi E me ne vado a cercare la botola pure morire no, non così. good evening periscope people good evening thank you to coming inside my channel community twitch channel periscope channel thank you Ah, ma in realtà sono rimasto da solo? Ah. Oh. Quella parola spacca qua.
Cazzo, sta qua, sta qua. Aiuto. Eh, no, oh, sono morto con qui. Ok. Posso fare... Ah no, ma aspetta, posso recuperare. Ma lui non lo sa che io posso recuperare. far uscire eh sì ma fa, eh, mi vuole far uscire ma cioè si vuole divertire con me sto bastardo Guardiamo come si diverte, guardiamolo come si diverte. He joke with me. Eh ma... Non so dove andare a trovare la bode. Vado, vado, aiuto, help, help. Non so, da solo. Oh, mi sono rotto le palle però, non sapevo uscire. Eh, mi ha rotto, già cioè, fine, che cazzo.
Ah, un attimo io vado a prendere un qualcosa da bere e l'altro telefono. Arrivo subito. Anzi, forse se mi rotto già la partita. Ah no, sì, aspetta, metto subito. Hello, hello, hello. Intanto mm -hmm, mm -hmm. faccio, eh? Salut Inconnu, comment tu vas Inconnu, yeah Oui, j'utilise OBS. Tout à fait. Oui, ça va très bien, merci. La Zimans. Non, je pense pas que j'ai le temps de manger. Euh, maintenant J'utilise OBS. Qu'est-ce que je dois t'expliquer te, Comment ça marche OBS ou comment je fais à streamer avec une console Ouf. Il faut du temps, hein En tous les cas, tu trouves, euh, tu trouves ça dans YouTube. Hein. Avec tous les... Tous les explications à l'écran. Déjà, t'as quoi comme... Euh... T'as quoi comme PC ah, t'as pas entendu. Putain, il y en a déjà eu un. T'as quoi comme PC T'as quoi comme... Euh... Hmm, ok. Euh... Est-ce que tu as... Est-ce que tu as déchargé l'application, le... donc OBS Studio de, du site internet et est-ce que tu l'as ok bon ben, ben, tu as déjà installé alors ben là attends que je termine le euh, attends que je, te, je, ter, je termine et je t'explique quoi mais il faut un peu de temps hein. beaucoup de temps Tu vas streamer quoi déjà Ah 
Ah ben là c'est encore pire parce que moi je fais euh, moi, moi, moi en réalité je suis en train de faire un multi stream hein, sur Mixer, Twitch, Youtube et Periscope ça va pas être la même chose quoi Ben ça c'est Dead by Daylight, c'est un jeu d'horreur où il faut faire marcher ces trucs là, 5, dans le dans la dans la dans la dans, la, euh, ma, euh, putain, je, euh, dans le plan il en a 6, 7, il faut en faire marcher 5 qui vont donner l'électricité à une porte qui est, qui est de quelque part par là et après il faut ouvrir la porte et après s'échapper. Il est très streamé ce jeu. Hein. Euh, et avec euh, Vendredi 13, c'est c'est le plus streamé celui-là. Hein. League of Legends, LOL, League of Legends. Euh, Vendredi 13, merde. Il est où Ah oh, il est là. Moi je me cache ici. Hein. Je bouge pas. Non, l'autre il va me le faire venir par là ou quoi on est parti. Non, merde. Eh ben, je sais pas où il est. Hein. Qu'est-ce qu'il y a un truc de faire, ce machin Il a pas compris qu'on est là, non Ouais, lui c'est un killer qui va nous il va nous avoir putain de merde allez ouais, ben, on va voir. mi avra mi avra mi avra mi avra mi a beccato non mi a beccato ancora euh, oui oui c'est un jeu alors c'est un jeu horreur euh, 4 contre euh... ah, mais attends c'est c'est un jeu 4 contre 1 hein. On est 5 en tout, 4 c'est les. ils doivent s'échapper et un, un qui fait le, le killer. Et là il a lagué, il m'a lâché là. Allo Merde oh, putain. Désolé, je reviens tout de suite. La console m'a lâché. On attend que ça ça rallume. Désolé. Ça veut dire quoi PF PG Non, je sais pas. Je le bien de seconde. Aujourd'hui, c'est pas l'histoire de streamer. Hein. Alors, ça a lâché, tant pis. Mais pour, euh, en français, ça veut dire quoi, PG Moi, je suis italien, donc euh, je sais pas ce que ça veut dire, PG. Ah, PG, peut-être. Pas gra ah, pas grave. Bon, attendez, hein, là, je dois faire le... Ok, c'est bon. 
Ben, ben, en attendant qu'on est là, hein. Alors, déjà, par contre, je dois remettre la caméra normale, sans les filtrages. Sinon, tu vas rien voir, quoi. Euh, on va bouger ça. Et on va bouger ça. Ok. Ok, c'est bon. Donc, deux minutes. Bon, vas-y. Bah, si. Alors, c'est quoi que tu comprends pas J'attends que tu écris quelque chose. Euh... Ah oui, tu m'avais dit donc, oui. Ah oui, merde, par contre, moi, je suis en haut. Oui, donc, attends, je vais... Euh... Me... Voilà. Pouf. Allez. Donc, moi, je suis en stream avec un PC portable. OK Yes. Donc ça, tu l'as déchargé, tu l'as installé. Donc la première chose qu'il faut faire, c'est aller dans les... Euh, dans les... Ici, là. Euh, comment tu dis ça en français euh, Postation. Non, euh... Dans les paramètres. Bravo. Allez. Ouais, bon, il va être un peu... Attends. Oui, je, je t'attends. Hein. Oui. OK, ici. Non, je dois aller là. Hop, désolé. Là, il y a les paramètres. D'accord Bon, attends. Je marche qu'il est un peu flou, là. Tu appuies sur les paramètres. Bon, super. Je ne sais pas ce qu'il qu est en train de regarder, là. Non, je crois pas que ça, on va pas le faire ça, de seconde. Oui, mais tu l'IP de seconde. Non, attends, l'IP. Alors, attends une minute. Comment je peux te faire voir ça, moi Ah oui, l'IP, mais tu vas euh, donc, t'en fais voir. Hop. Ah oh, merde, je suis en train de. Ça va être con quand même, hein, parce que je peux pas... Je suis en train de streamer en plus. C'est un petit problème. Je sais pas comment te faire voir le... Euh... Mm -hmm. Oui, parce que si je stream, je peux pas te montrer quoi. Attends une minute. Hein. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Bon. On va aller chez Periscope. Parce que je peux pas changer les... Ah oui, non, mais attends, je dois aller voir deux, deux secondes. Hein. Euh, une minute. Je suis tout en italien, quoi. Ça va pas être. Alors, quand tu vas dans, tu vas dans ton browser, d'accord, et tu rentres dans ton periscope.tv, ok, euh, tu fais l'accès à ton periscope. Premier, je peux, je peux pas te faire voir parce que j'ai ma clé de stream dedans, donc je peux pas te faire voir ma clé de stream. Donc, je disais. Donc, tu rentres dans Periscope, où il y a ta photo euh, en cercle, 
T'as euh, la troisième ligne, ça s'appelle producer ou producteur. Je sais pas comment ça se parle en français. Ok. Et quand tu appuies dessus, il y a ton serveur URL qui apparaît avec ton ta clé de stream. Ok. Tu dois prendre ces deux trucs et dans OBS, en allant dans les para, en allant dans les paramètres. Ouais, vas-y. Oui, quand tu vas dans paramètres avancés d'OBS, ok tu dois aller dans transmission mais non mais où dans, dans ton truc de, de machin tu, ça tu dois le prendre de, de ton ah oui producteur dans producteur dans ton google chrome je sais pas ce que tu as periscope tu as ton producteur Non, il ne faut pas aller dans paramètres avancés. Non, non, ce n'est pas les paramètres de Periscope. Il faut aller dans où il y a écrit « Produceur, producteur ». Je ne sais pas comment ça s'appelle en français. « Produceur, producteur ». Ok. Tu as ton URL serveur et ton, ta clé de stream. Il faut, il faut copier-coller les deux. Et ce copier-coller des deux, tu les mets dans ton OBS. Ben, je sais pas où c'est. Hein. Ça, j'ai pas compris. Oui, oui. Ça veut dire quoi T'as trouvé T'es connecté où C'est bon, t'as tout fait Déjà Quelle vitesse, hein Ne ne. Ne ne, c'est-à-dire non. T'as rien fait. Mais moi, est-ce que t'as trouvé tes... ton serveur ta clé stream de. Producer. Producteur, je sais pas. Quoi. Ah oui, mais je peux te le faire voir. Attends. Hein. Attends une seconde. Euh, deux minutes. Donc, on, on va repartir. Il s'affiche pas. Il faut... Ah oui, mais il faut, il faut cliquer dessus. Hein, qui te donne une clé, quoi. Alors, attends une seconde. Hein.
Alors ça, t'annule, sinon je vois rien. Hop, alors, attends une seconde. Hein. Euh, oui, c'est bon. Donc, euh... oh merde. Et là, comment je fais voir le... Allez, j'ai un problème de vidéo parce que je peux pas voir qu'est-ce que je suis en train de te faire envoyer. Alors, j'espère que tu vas le voir parce que là, je sais pas. Donc, là, où tu as ta photo de périscope en espérant que tu es en train de la voir. Non, c'est pas là. Oui, ok, là. Troisième ligne. Oui, ok, là, troisième ligne. 1, 2, 3. Ça ne doit être pas de, 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 de tout le monde. Hein. Ça, 1, 2, 3, troisième ligne. Là-dedans, il y a ta clé de, pour streamer. Et ton, ton adresse URL personnelle. Tu appuies et tu te fais donner une clé. Bravo, réalisateur. Ça doit être ça alors. <rire> en français, ça doit être ça, ouais. Dedans, tu te fais, euh, actives ta clé pour streamer. Tu prends l'URL et ta clé et tu la mets dans OBS. Dans OBS, donc tu viens dans tes paramètres. Tu fais copier-coller. Du moins comme tu y es. Hein. Il doit te le donner. Tu sais toi qui doit cliquer sur un bouton pour te faire te donner ça. Il te donne ta clé stream. Hein. Il faut que c'est toi qui appuie dessus. Pour te, pour te la faire configurer. Pour, non, il te la donne automatiquement. Automatiquement, il te donne un URL, il te donne ta clé de stream. Et là, je peux pas te faire voir, quoi, hein, parce que sinon, je suis désolé. C'est pas le cas. Et à moi, il me le donne. Hein. Il me l'a, il me l'a donné quoi. Il m'a donné ça et je les ai copié collé ici. Oups. Est-ce que non transmission ici tu dois avoir un machin. Mais non, je peux pas te donner une clé quoi. <rire> Désolé. Eh, tu dois le faire avec ton ton account. Donc là, dedans, tu as un truc pour faire un HTMP euh, personnel et tu mets ça euh, dans Periscope, c'est tout. Et c'est on fait comme ça, le stream. Et il va streamer sur Periscope. Je tombe Ah, sinon, si... Ah, non, mais attends, on va faire autre chose. Sinon, ce que tu fais, c'est ça. Alors, euh, donc, euh, il va le faire automatiquement, je pense. Donc, euh, eh oui, je sais, c'est compliqué. Hein. Même que là, euh, je n'arrive pas, euh, pas à te faire comprendre. C'est impossible. Sinon, ce que tu fais, c'est que tu ouvres une... Euh, tu vas sur la page de... Attends, hein, je te mets la page. Alors merde, tu peux pas l'avoir. Que chier. Je dois rentrer dans mon truc. Attends une seconde. Hein. Alors, merde. Eh bien, là, je vais rentrer dans mon... Alors, donne-moi une seconde. Tu vas te... Alors, tu vas te...
tu vas t'inscrire ici, à ce site. Un seconde. Alors, tu vas t'inscrire à ce site, que c'est un site pour faire du multi-stream, ok euh, Une minute, que par contre je dois aller dans mon truc de périscope, sinon je ne peux pas te montrer, je dois rentrer dedans. Attends, je rentre dans, dans la chat de, de ma live. Hein. Attends, je rentre dans, dans la chat de, de ma live. Hein. Ok, tu vas aller dans ce site. Et tu vas t'inscrire là-dedans. Ok, tu vas aller dans ce site. Le site, c'est celui-là. Et tu vas t'inscrire là-dedans. Ok, tu vas aller dans ce site. Le site, c'est celui-là. Ah, il me dit une fois là. Ah oui, parce que je le lâche à. Ok, attends. The. Ouais, attends. Le site, je te l'ai mis en truc. Hein. Ah oui, mais euh, vas-y. Euh, ah oui, attends, excuse. Attends, je te le montre. Là. Tu devrais l'avoir en live maintenant. Ah, attends, je te Là. Bon. Tu regardes la live et je te, je te le montre. Attends, ça aussi, j'enlève je, les filtrages. Tu l'as dans la live, je te l'ai mis. Là. C'est bon Ok, quand tu t'es inscrit, il va t'apparaître une page comme ça, où il n'y aura pas de chaîne. Ok, de toute façon je peux te le faire voir parce que ma clé, elle est cachée. Donc, tu auras restream.io avec pas de chaîne, il faudra ajouter ta chaîne Periscope. Elle est là, ta chaîne Periscope, elle est là. Ok, il faudra lancer automatiquement donc il va le faire tout seul il va te la mettre ici et maintenant je peux même te faire voir comment faire quoi parce que là là j'ai tout écrit hein. donc de ce côté là excuse moi tu vas prendre là de ce côté quand ton périscope sera prêt tu vas prendre c'est le rtmp url 
tout ça et tu vas copier coller sur ton sur tes paramètres OBS ok qui vont être ça je peux te faire voir parce que toujours ma clé elle est OBS paramètres là il faudra mettre les trois trucs que, que, indiqués les deux trucs indiqués Francfort et ta clé de stream c'est tout quand tu vas activer la stream il va commencer ta, ta stream C'est tout. Là, c'est plus facile. Hein? Donc, j'espère que tu as compris. J'espère. Bon, toi, tu essaies comme ça. Elle est activée. Ah ben, t'as compris alors. Il est actif sur le site. Oui, dans le site restream.io, t'as ta clé de... T'as ton serveur et t'as ta clé de stream dedans. Quand tu vas mettre ton périscope, quand tu vas mettre ton périscope euh, dedans. Bon, déjà, tu essaies comme ça. Après, si tu vois que tu n'as pas assez compris, il suffit que tu ailles dans mon... Euh, dans mon euh, attends. Il suffit que tu ailles dans mon site... Attends, hein. il suffit que tu ailles dans mon site euh, Twitch et que tu revois euh, cette live. Tiens, je te donne aussi ma, mon site. Tu revois la live et tu, et tu vois le, euh, le bout où je t'explique tout ça. Quoi. Comme ça, ça va être plus facile. Tu, mets pause, tu peux mettre pause, tout ce que tu veux. Par contre, attends, je te mets ma... Allez, mon Twitch, il est là. Il va apparaître maintenant il est apparu tu regardes ce bout là et avec, comme ça tu vas tu comprends bon, là, par contre je vais recommencer à jouer Moi, je dois fermer tout ça. Hein. Moi, je comprends plus. Hein. Euh, donc... Ah merde alors, je suis en train de me perdre le truc là, attends on va mettre ça là, aussi. Ah il y a le truc Nintendo, j'avais oublié ça, merde. Euh, je me vois où avec ça hum. Il y a le direct Nintendo là, attends je suis en train de perdre hein, quoi. Allez, on va mettre une seconde. 
Now, the best mini games from all 10 home console titles are going portable on Nintendo 3DS. We've curated the top 100 mini games, the most ever in a single Mario Party title, to create the best one yet. The game supports download play for up to four people, so with just one game card, any of your friends with a Nintendo 3DS family system can join in too. Take a tour through all the mischief, magic, and memories the series has to offer when Mario Party The Top 100 launches on Nintendo 3DS November 10th. In two days, Metroid Samus Returns finally arrives on Nintendo 3DS. And everyone, from Metroid fans to Super, Super Smash, Brothers Smash Brothers fans, fans should notice. take notice. This meticulously, this meticulously crafted, crafted side-scrolling side adventure, adventure contains immersive, immersive 3D, 3D visuals, atmospheric, atmospheric exploration-based exploration gameplay, gameplay, versatile weaponry, powerful new abilities, and some truly wicked bosses. Who or what? Will you encounter on this deadly planet? Vengeance has a name. Metroid Samus Returns is scheduled for launch September 15th. Atlas always has something good in the works for RPG fans. Nine characters' paths will converge and be Alliance Alive in an all-new old-school RPG from Atlas. Heading to Nintendo 3DS systems in early 2018. We can also confirm that the handheld will play home to Shin Megami Tensei Strange Journey Redux with all of its new content and enhanced graphics. Another Nintendo DS cult classic has set its sights on Nintendo 3DS systems in the form of Radiant Historia Perfect Chronology. The gorgeous launch edition will include a collector's box with an art book and decal sheet. While you're at it, don't forget to check Nintendo eShop for something else that releases today. The new Etrian Odyssey 5 Beyond the Myth demo. Two new titles from beloved series are almost here. Uncover the mysterious origin of everyone's favorite lawyer, an Apollo Justice Ace Attorney. And soon, the bonds between heroes will decide their fates in Fire Emblem Warriors. Check this out real quick. You're looking at the new orange and white edition of the new Nintendo 2DS XL, and it'll be here before you know it on October 6th. That's all for today's Nintendo 3DS headlines. Now, let's move on to Nintendo Switch by kicking things off with a trailer for our next Spotlight title, Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Please take a look. This is All Rest, a world covered in a sea of clouds. Many giant life forms called Titans live in this cloud sea, and the people have built their countries and lives on top of these creatures. In the middle of this world stands the World Tree, and it's said that at the top of it lies Elysium, an idyllic land of plenty. Many great powers rule over regions of Ores. The Kingdom of Uriah is one of them, its territory contained within their titan. The Orions deeply respect nature, boasting advanced biotechnology. For now, we should keep our troops mobilized while we monitor the situation. Their rival, the militaristic empire of Moradain, is another. Controlling titans through mechanical means, they bring heavy armaments to bear as they annex other lands in a bid to save their own from ruin and depletion. I doubt he would have been stopped, even by an army 5,000 strong. The Imperial Province of Gorma, a plentiful land now fallen under Ardanian control, and the Indolein Praetorium, whose people revere and worship the Titans. Indol controls the supply of core crystals, which blades are born of. And so despite being a theocracy, they hold much influence over the world's military affairs. Next, the Argentum Trade Guild, a shrewd consortium of traders, they do well for themselves by deftly navigating the strained relations between other nations and exploiting wartime demand. 
And last but not least, Torna, carrying out secret operations under the Cloud Sea to achieve their mysterious goals. Before long, this world will fall into turmoil over efforts to find the legendary blade, the Aegis. That is precisely the kind of scenario that I mean to prevent. Hand her over to a groaner. The Aegis must be destroyed. Ah! Then I shall Aegis too and make mountains of cash. I'm guessing your goal is Elysium. That is our dream. Who will find the Aegis? Who will make it to Elysium? Only time we can. Welcome to Allrest, the world of Xenoblade Chronicles 2. My name is Azota. Oh yes, that's me, right there. I may be relatively small, but I am also a Triton. And this little troublemaker is the protagonist of our story, Rex, who lives on my back. I suppose you could say I'm his landlord. And his guardian, too. He refers to me as Gramps. You may call me the same. Rex used to work as a salvager, scavenging useful resources from beneath the Cloud Sea. Until one day he met a girl named Pyra, and the two set off on a quest to deliver her safely to Elysium. Can you believe he accepted such a lofty job just to impress a girl? Oh yes, and this is also me. Utterly adorable, if I do say so myself. In Xenoblade Chronicles 2, you too will embark on a journey across the Titan's backs. Each Titan fosters a unique scenery, very different from its neighbors. Some have big open fields, while others boast huge caverns set deep within Hello. the Titan's own body. Yeah. Remember, I hope to play. I'm waiting. The Titans are living beings, each with our own quirks, which you must learn to navigate. Who someone play? You also mm -hmm. cross paths with many a dangerous creature on these Titans. It's their home too, but it's sadly inevitable that we butt heads from time to time. Those who fight together with synthetic life forms called blades, like Rex does, are known as drivers. When drivers do battle, their weapons and powers are granted to them by blades, such as Pyra, for example. Up to three drivers and three blades can work together at any one time. As you continue attacking with your normal weapons, you constantly work toward charging up your driver arts. These special abilities run the gamut, with some allowing you to inflict extra damage depending on your position. While other, more arcane arts, can cause what do you mean, illusions to appear. Just use them wisely and watch closely the tiger battle to know when best to deploy them. Blades also support their trusted drivers by using blade arts to increase the power of their attacks, their accuracy and the like. That way, the drivers can focus on playing a more active role in the battlefield. Just wait till you encounter some tougher opposition. Things won't always go your way, so it's important to learn the benefits of switching blades. By using items called core crystals, divers can awaken new blades. This is known as resonance. You aren't limited to just one. A single driver can bond with multiple blades. The weapons and arts available to you depend on the blades with which you bond. And you never know what kind of blade you'll get until you yeah. awaken them. I found someone to play. Sometimes yes. you may muster up some very special ones. Oh, oh. looks like you hit the jackpot yeah. this time. You can take up to three blades into battle with you. With each blade being either an attacker type, defender type, or a healer type, it's important to switch blades and tactics in step with your situation. Like I always say, there's no better game plan than using the right blade for the job at hand. 
As a basic rule of thumb for drivers, you should always stay abreast of the blades your party members are using. And strategize accordingly. By using your arts, you fill up your blade's special gauge. When you finally activate one of these specials, the driver will return the weapon to its blade owner, enabling the blade to deliver a devastating attack. Blade specials have four levels of intensity, and I must say, levels three and four are a bit too wild for my taste. So, what do you think? You are still a bit green. But one day you may work your way up to being a great driver yourself. There is much more to learn, but consider this a sneak peek. You can combine arts into something more and really turn the tide. And now it's past my bedtime. Your journey through the clouds begins when Xenoblade Chronicles 2 launches on Nintendo Switch December the 1st. The world of all rest is waiting for you. Alongside the regular version, we will be offering a special edition, including a sound selection CD, a special metal game case, and a 220-page hardbound art book. You can also look forward to the release of a Xenoblade Chronicles 2-themed Nintendo Switch Pro Controller, sold separately. Speaking of Nintendo Switch, we have some more headlines for you. Splatoon 2 is one happening game. Backed by popular demand, it's Kelp Dome. Now with some fresh twists, like extra grades to slip through and a bit of added turf on each side for your aching pleasure. Watch out though, shooting up and down through those graded platforms should get pretty crazy. Now for something new, Snapper Canal. In this stage, a river is running right down the middle. The key to victory? Figuring out how to break into the central area and then push through the other team's base. Also, we're introducing a new Brella weapon, called the Tentabrella. It's sort of like a regular umbrella, except, whoa, that's huge! It kind of looks like a big camping tent, capable of guarding over a large area. The Kelp Dome stage we showed earlier will be available to play Friday evening. We're planning even more weapons and stages for future releases, so Splatoon 2 should stay fresh for a long time. Warriors from across the Fire Emblem series have been summoned to stop the Chaos Dragon and uncover the mystery of the Shield of Flames. Each one will face armies a thousand strong by unleashing devastating attacks. As their stories unfold, new combinations of characters will mingle and bond on the battlefield of Fire Emblem Warriors. And now, a beloved warrior is joining the cause. It's Lin. Hailing from Fire Emblem on Game Boy Advance, Lindis of the Lorca lends us her steel. Keep your eyes on the horizon, soldier. A new trailer launches today. If you think I can't hold my own, you're sorely mistaken. Fire Emblem Warriors launches October 20th alongside the special edition, which includes the game, a premium character card set with sloop case, a double-sided poster, and a three-CD music set. Separately, the Chrome and Tiki Amiibo figures fire. release the same day. The action puzzle game that lets you snip and clip your friends is getting reams of new content on Nintendo eShop and in stores. Snipper Clips Plus, cut it out together. A new expanded version of the no, game that acts the like paper antics of the original, plus more than 30 new stages, including a world based on comic books and a toy box world too. Oh, and get this. A new feature lets you replay all the original stages in a brand new way. You start with one of many random body shapes that will require some hilarious new approaches. So fans of this cult hit and newcomers alike can enjoy all of this new content with friends and family. Snipper Clips Plus Cut It Out Together launches November 10th. This content will also be available for current owners of the original game to purchase as DLC in Nintendo eShop. You've never seen a shooter like this before. Oh, there is Change close. your size to change your powers in Morphe's Law, a local and online team-based multiplayer shooter coming to Nintendo Switch. With teams of shape-shifting robots, this is no ordinary shooter. Hitting a Morphe's body part will make it shrink and make the same body part of that shooter grow. As the size of each body part changes, your abilities will change too, forcing you to change tactics as well. Example, larger legs will improve your jumping game, and your hand size changes the way you use your grappling hook. 
Clever players might even transform their allies on purpose. Your team's avatar is only as big as your team members combined, so keep it safe. The team with the tallest avatar wins the round. Morphe's Law launches first on Nintendo Switch as a console exclusive in winter 2017. If you kept up with the news from E3 2017, then you probably heard that Rocket League is coming to Nintendo Switch. This new version of the rocket-powered sports game will include all the modes fans have come to expect, along with some new Nintendo Switch exclusives, like Mario and Luigi Toppers, and the first-ever Nintendo-themed battle cards, along with the new addition of local wireless multiplayer. Check out Samus' gunship with its wave beam boost, followed by the Mario and Luigi NSR and its superstar boost. Just pick the blue team to play as Luigi or the orange team to play as Mario. But to wrap your love for Nintendo, you'll first have to earn these sweet wheels in the game. You'll have your chance when Rocket League launches on Nintendo Switch this holiday season. Arena of Valor is a multiplayer online battle arena game designed by the experts at Tencent Games. Explore and command a roster of over 35 fearless heroes, with roles including tanks, assassins, mages, support, warriors, and marksmen. Build the ultimate team with your friends to crush your opponents in real-time online battles. First blood, double kill, triple kill, and all the features MOBA fans know and love will be included. Discover and dominate all the gameplay modes, including 5v5, 3v3, 1v1, and a unique Hook Wars mode that will challenge your skills and prove your valor as a true champion. Draw first blood, carry your team to the finish line, and become a legend in the arena. Arena of Valor beta test version will be available for free this winter. Live another life in another world in this timeless epic coming to Nintendo Switch. Winner of more than 200 Game of the Year awards, Bethesda Game Studios' open-world adventure, The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim, where you can virtually be anyone and do anything, can now be played anywhere. The ancient evil of dragons threatens the future of Skyrim. As the prophesied dragonborn, you are the only one who can stand against them. The type of hero you will become depends on the skills you choose to hone, from archery, to crafting, to destruction magic and more. Your choice of skill can dramatically impact your adventure. So even if you've played Skyrim before, you can create a new character with a new path. So steal yourself like a true hero of legend. The Champion's Tunic, the Hylian Shield, and the Master Sword can be acquired by tapping a compatible Legend of Zelda character amiibo figure. Or, you can always seek out these treasures as you explore the vast world. This version of the game launches exclusively on Just Nintendo Switch November 17th so. in Europe and the Americas. Bethesda Softworks is bringing two iconic first-person shooters to Nintendo Switch. Id Software, the studio that pioneered the genre, is bringing the critically acclaimed Doom to your TV and anywhere you want to be. Slay hordes of demons with devastating guns and single player and crush your friends in online multiplayer when Doom tears onto Nintendo Switch this holiday. Machine Games Wolfenstein 2 sends you on a mission to liberate a Nazi-controlled America. Only you have the guts, guns, and gumption to spark the second American Revolution. Wolfenstein 2, the new Colossus, launches on Nintendo Switch. Wolfenstein 2. Oh, cazzo, che sorpresa! Flip Wars is rolling out a new update. And it's Wolfenstein 2 is on Switch. matches. This mode has its own leaderboards, encouraging you to try and move up to the next class. It also introduces a red-hot new stage surrounded by bubbling magma. Hola, hola! The Red Coliseum. Panels are plagued by flames. Hello, hola, haro, no, hola, haro. Will become harder to control. Some other new mechanics are being added too, like spinners that flip over. Have you saw to be there? Wolfenstein 2. So friends can get together. Wolfenstein 2 on Switch. Nintendo Switch consoles. Wars is available now, and this new update will be free for owners of the game on Nintendo eShop. All right, game fans, it's quiz time. Recognize this arcade cabinet? It certainly has right, been a while, ready. but finally, after many years, our arcade titles are making a I'm return. Start, wait, no. And the first I'm one is Mario Brothers. By sharing your Joy-Con, you can run, jump, and compete. I mean, cooperate to win. Notice the little visual details from the arcade version. Other arcade classics are on the way too, including versus Super Mario Brothers, versus Balloon Fight, 
versus Ice Climber versus Pinball versus Clue Clue Land and more. These arcade games will contain right, other subtle differences you can't find in their NES more. counterparts. See if you can spot them. Arcade Archives Mario Brothers is coming down the pipe Need. September 27th. Real quick, some news for Zelda fans. The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild Champions Amiibo figures will release on November 10th. They'll summon materials and weapons, but unlike other Amiibo, they'll conjure up headgear based on the champion's divine beasts. They have functional purposes as well, and we'll have more info soon. Whether you compete in a court or a ring, there's no shortage of great sports games for Nintendo Switch this year. With big gameplay improvements and stunning graphics, NBA 2K18 will have the Nintendo Switch lineup shook when it launches on September 15th in Nintendo eShop. And in retail October 17th, fans of sports entertainment should also note that WWE 2K18 is coming soon as well. EA Sports FIFA 18 is the most immersive, social, and authentic soccer game out there. Take the world's game on the go and play anywhere with anyone when FIFA 18 launches on September 29th. The premier Pokemon fighting game brings multiplayer battle action to Nintendo Switch next week. And the demo version is available right now. So give it a try in anticipation of the game's launch. More Nintendo Switch headlines are on the way. But first, a video of our third Spotlight title. A brand new RPG in development at Square Enix. It also happens to be a Nintendo Switch exclusive. Please take a look. In the faraway land of Orstera, eight travelers venture forth. Step into their shoes and explore the realm as you see fit. Eight brave souls, each with a unique talent. Eight lands, eight stories to be told. So tell me, friend, what path will you tread? Embark on an adventure all your own. Project Octopath Traveler. The producers of Bravely Default at Square Enix bring us a new fantasy world brought to life through a mix of CG, pixel art, and visual wizardry that the developers have termed HD2D. Begin your journey as one of eight protagonists, each with their own origin, talents, and goals. Where will your journey begin? Who will you team up with, and where will you go next? All these decisions and more are completely up to you, the player. Each character has his or her own path action that can be used to interact with the people they encounter in a distinct way. For example, the warrior Ulbrich can challenge almost anyone to a duel. With one such duel, he could expose an evildoer and bring them to justice, or force someone in his way out of the way. On your guard. The dancer Primrose, on the other hand, can allure others into following her. With this power, she could track down a missing person and bring them back, or lure her enemies into a trap. She can even summon an allured character to help her in battle. Essentially, each character has their own way of achieving their objectives. The developers aim to give players the freedom to choose their own paths and immerse themselves in a deep story through true role-playing. Come cazzo ha fatto a trovarmi subito, porca troia, non è possibile. In this game, che cazzo di sfida di gioco. Eh sì, non so. Mamma mia, che culo! Mechanics. 
One such mechanic is the boost system, which allows you to accumulate boost points with each turn you take in battle. You can then spend them to dramatically increase the strength of your attacks and abilities, or use it to chain attacks. Try targeting an enemy's weak point to break its guard, then deliver powerful blows while it's weakened. Or, if an ally's in trouble, use it to get them right back into fighting shape. Identifying the right time to boost may just be the key to victory. There's a deep well of strategies to draw from, and your tactical genius won't go unrewarded. Later today, a demo version of Project Octopath Traveler will launch worldwide in Nintendo eShop on Nintendo Switch. Woo! Una demo nuova, una demo nuova, una demo nuova, per parliamoci con lo Switch. And look out for an extended cut of the trailer. Parliamoci con lo Switch, prepariamoci a prendere la demo nuova. Octopath Traveler is scheduled for a simultaneous worldwide release in 2018. Sì, ma sì, voglio la demo subito. Subito la demo. The trailer that kicked off that segment will be released after today's Nintendo Direct. Please check it out. But first, it's time for some more Nintendo Switch headlines. This just in, a report written by someone named Biff? The world's stretchiest fighting sport arms is extending the fun with game updates. As announced at Gamescom, the next update adds in a new stage and a new fighter named Lollipop with three tricky new arms. But there's another new feature as well. Now you can remap the controls to the buttons of your choice. After all, this game's all about flexibility. The best part? This new ARMS update goes live shortly after this presentation. The goddess Rubis has spoken, and you have been chosen. Dragon Quest Builders is destined for Nintendo Switch. The game is a big hit in Japan. Fanculo! Che cazzo di sfiga! The combat of an action RPG. You'll master the art of construction. Build your own towns however you want. Defend them from monsters and rescue townsfolk in need. Succeed and you may just rebuild Alephgard, the very same world where the series began. A separate free build mode allows you to build to your heart's content with unlimited resources. And a Nintendo Switch exclusive Great Saber Cub will boost your speed and grant you special material by defeating enemies. Dragon Quest Builders is planned for release in Spring 2018. The Kirby game that we showed off at E3 has some charming new tricks. Throw hearts and up to three enemies will become your allies. By working together, you can initiate team-up attacks like a stone drop using ESP, and many more, depending on your ally's copy abilities. You can also share elemental attributes to automate copy abilities and create combinations, like a bomb-turned-hot-air balloon. Whether you play alone or co-op with up to three friends, it's fun to mix up your alliances and create new powers. Together, you may have a chance to defeat the dark new force manipulating Dreamland. Pretty Star Allies is coming to Nintendo Switch Spring 2018. There's a whole lot of fun in store thanks to Nintendo eShop. Dig into the underworld of the platform mining adventure SteamWorld Dig 2 on September 21st. Golf through courses, towns, puzzles, and challenges in the sporty RPG Golf Story this year. This holiday, the four players can blast them up together locally or online in nine parchments. Feast on combo-based action and solve match three puzzles in Battleship Brigade this year. Deploy units and your masterful strategies in the turn-based tactical RPG Tiny Metal. Leap up walls and dodge saws in the randomly constructed side-scroller Super Meat Boy Forever in 2018. Never hurts to beef up your gaming library. The Nintendo Switch lineup is stacking up fast. Use the power of memory to restore what the world has lost in this modern take on traditional RPGs.
no, Lust Sphere no, no, on January 23rd, 2018. Join the uprising the by fighting back as Modern Sonic, Classic Sonic, or any one of the many custom hero characters you can create in Sonic Forces November 7th. Face your fears and uncover the truth as both Resident Evil Revelations and Resident Evil Revelations 2 make their way to Nintendo Switch on November 28th. Rockstar Games is bringing L.A. Noir to Nintendo Switch on November 14th, featuring all of its downloadable content, new collectibles, detective suits with special abilities, a Joy-Con mode, and new wide and over-the-shoulder camera angles, plus touchscreen controls for portable detective work. That's the last quick headline for Nintendo Switch. However... We have one last game to talk about today. Hello everyone, I'm Yoshiaki Koizumi, the producer of Super Mario Odyssey for Nintendo Switch. Today we're going to recap a little of what we've already shown, but also reveal some new information about the game as well. Mario isn't too happy about Bowser trying to marry Princess Peach. And Cappy, his new friend from the Cap Kingdom, has a mission of his own, to rescue his sister Tiara. And now the hero and his hat must join forces. Somehow, Cappy can grant his wearer free control over his powers. So together with Mario, they'll travel the globe and make good use of Cappy's skills, especially the new Capture ability, which allows Mario to take control of many enemies, animals, and objects. This globetrotting adventure will take them all over the place. New Donk City in the Metro Kingdom, Coast Arena in the Sand Kingdom, Mount Balbono in the Luncheon Kingdom, Steam Gardens in the Wooded Kingdom, Bonneton in the Cap Kingdom, Fossil Falls in the Cascade Kingdom. And today, for the first time, we're introducing Shiveria in the Snow Kingdom. This ice-cold realm will chill you to the core. Now, take a look at Bubble Lane in the Seaside Kingdom. It's a popular travel destination for many thanks to its gorgeous, crystal-clear waters. Apparently, the seawater has a refreshing fizz like it's carbonated. But we won't spoil them all. Mario has even more kingdoms to visit, including tropical islands. To get from place to place, Mario is literally traveling in style. Aboard his cap-shaped ship, the Odyssey, it runs on power moons scattered across the world. By collecting them, you can power up the Odyssey and make it to the next kingdom. The number of power moons required to reach a destination is different for each kingdom. But as you can see in this list, there are even more power moons than that, which should keep your inner treasure hunter hungry for more. I mean, some of these things are really hidden. You may need to acquire one by solving a puzzle or defeating enemies. They're hiding everywhere. So make sure to explore every corner of the world using every move at your disposal. If you collect them all, something neat may happen. Having trouble hunting down power moons? Then try talking to Takatu for hints. You could also give a few coins to the hint toad or even tap Amiibo with some help from Uncle Amiibo to reveal a Power Moon's location on the map. If you're feeling stuck, it's worth a shot. Yahoo! Globetrotting does have its benefits. You may find places to play mini games like Koopa Free Running or a Jump Rope Challenge. You'll earn Power Moons based on your results. And you can check out the scores and times of other players the world over if you're connected online.
Also, the game world is home to a franchise of shops called Crazy Cap. There, you can obtain outfits and other stuff with the coins you've collected. Then customize Mario's look. Some outfits are thematically tied to the kingdom you're in, or to a game from Mario's storied past. So don't be afraid to play a little dress-up, just to suit your mood. Match your surroundings. Or just because. And don't forget to let the Odyssey in on the action with decorative stickers and souvenirs from Crazy Cow. There are just so many excuses for a quick photo op. That's where snapshot mode comes in. Simply freeze time at any moment, snap some fun photos of Mario, and go for a close-up. You can blur your surroundings, change color schemes, you name it. You can even rotate the camera and nail that vertical photo for your smartphone. You could post it to social media or use it as wallpaper on your PC or smartphone. For many, Mario games are all about making memories, so capture away. We've taken great care in creating these detailed sandbox environments for you to explore, and make the most of Mario's new and familiar moves. We made sure the game is chock full of classic gameplay elements, alongside a wide world of things you've never done before. Even the song that's playing right now is a Mario series first, thanks to its lyrics sung by the one and only Pauline. I hope you're ready for more surprising new ideas. Super Mario Odyssey, landing on Nintendo Switch October 27th. These wedding style amiibo figures will be available that same day, both individually and as a set. As you can see, they'll come in handy during your adventure. And all other amiibo are supported. Alongside the game, we're also releasing a special hardware bundle including the Super Mario Odyssey software and the themed Joy-Con you see here, along with the carrying case. We'll continue to release more new information on the official site of Super Mario Odyssey and on Twitter as we await Mario's next great journey. Sì, ma mi ha rotto le palle che mi viene addosso, cazzo. Ma allora sei scema. That's it for me and from today's Nintendo Direct. Thank you for watching. Arigato gozaimashita. Ma visto via, ma che cazzo di sfiga di merda! Affanculo. Oh, eh.
皆さんおはようございます。Hi everyone and welcome to Nintendo Direct. I'm Yoshiaki Koizumi from Nintendo and I'll be your guide. Today I have news about what's in store for Nintendo Switch and the Nintendo 3DS family of systems. We'll spotlight four of these titles in their own segments and others will be featured in a series of headlines. We'll begin with Nintendo 3DS for our first spotlight title of the day. Some wild Pokemon Ultra Sun and Pokemon Ultra Moon news has appeared, and you can catch it in four parts. As you just saw in the trailer, the legendary Pokemon that steals light, Necrozma, has transformed into two new forms Dusk Main Necrozma, who took over Sol Galeo, and Dawn Wings Necrozma, who took over Lunala. A brand new showdown awaits. In addition to new map areas like a beach where surfers gather, the Valley of Pikachu, and other facilities, the main characters have stylish new looks. On top of that, there are new clothing items and other surprises to look out for. Huh, looks like the way you encounter your first partner Pokemon will be different too. purchase either game early, you can get a special rock rock who will evolve into dust form lichen rock. Somehow this rock rock can perform a special move that this Pokemon usually can't learn. Also, if you purchase and download the digital version before January 10th, you'll receive 12 quick balls. And finally, on September 22nd, the Nintendo 3DS virtual console titles, Pokemon Gold version and Pokemon Silver version, will be released. If you purchase either one, you can receive the mythical Pokemon Celebi as a bonus in Pokemon Sun, Pokemon Moon, Pokemon Ultra Sun, or Pokemon Ultra Moon. You can pre-purchase Pokemon Gold version and Pokemon Silver version in Nintendo eShop after today's Nintendo Direct. Also, unknown Ultra Beasts, codenamed UB Burst and UB Assembly, will make their debut. With UB Burst in Pokemon Ultra Sun and UB Assembly in Pokemon Ultra Moon. That's the latest news I have, so please follow our coverage to see these Ultra Beasts in action and much more. The Pokemon Ultra Sun and Pokemon Ultra Moon games launch November 17th. The Speed New Nintendo 2DS XL system will release two weeks prior on November 3rd. All right, time to run through some headlines for Nintendo 3DS. Every hee hee and ha ha of Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga has been remade for Nintendo 3DS. Which means it's time to play back Princess Peach's stolen voice from Cacletta all over again. And in the all new mode, Minions Quest, the search for Bowser. You'll go behind the scenes of Mario and Luigi's adventure to learn the somewhat heroic tale of Bowser's minions. The classic story mode also has new stamp sheets. Tap compatible amiibo figures to stamp them and earn new equipment. You can also tap the boot amiibo figure or the new Goomba and Koopa Troopa figures to get two additional stamp sheets that offer up items in both modes of the game. The more stamps you have, the more equipment and items you'll earn. Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga plus Bowser's Minions laughs its way to Nintendo 3DS systems October 6th. The new Goomba and Koopa Troopa amiibo launched that same day. Kirby is about to enter a tournament against his toughest rival yet, himself. And his new game, Kirby Battle Royale, offers a variety of ways to fight. In Battle Arena mode, everyone battles until the last Kirby standing wins. In the Aura Express mode, you hoard the treasure until the fastest thing. Kirby wins. And he's just getting started. 
fight to the best of your abilities and prove you're the one Kirby to rule them all. There's a single player... Problemino con la live, cioè non la live, la replica. Un attimo lo metto a posto. molto in fretta from Nintendo, and I'll be your guide. Today, I have news about what in store for Nintendo Switch and the Nintendo 3DS family of systems. We'll spotlight four of these... Pure due cose, non lo so. Lo and new boss battles in an improved classes mode. Plus, you'll have the ability to transfer data to the new game, so you can pick up where you're left off when the ultimate entry in the series, Yokai Watch 2 Psychic Spectres, launches September 29th. Catrielle Layton, daughter of the famous Professor Layton, is on the case. And luckily, some things run in the family. In the seventh main installment of the Layton series, search for clues, help out townspeople, Solve puzzles and hopefully save the day. Try on an exclusive Flora costume only available in the Nintendo 3DS version of the game. And be there the day she opens her detective agency. Layton's Mystery Journey, Catriel and the Millionaire's Conspiracy launches on Nintendo 3DS October 6th. Nintendo fans will have another way to play Minecraft. Coming to new Nintendo 3DS systems. Playing survival? or creative modes. Use the included five skin packs 
and the two texture packs to customize your game. Your inventory, crafting, and map will be displayed on the touchscreen, and you can choose between buttons or touch controls. Minecraft New Nintendo 3DS Edition will be released today on Nintendo eShop right after this presentation. The package version will launch at a later date. For years, the Mario Party series brought us together around our home consoles, ever since the original launch on Nintendo 64. We partied like it was 1999, because it was. And now, the best mini games from all 10 home console titles are going portable on Nintendo 3DS. We've curated the top 100 mini games, the most ever in a single Mario Party title, to create the best one yet. The game supports download play for up to four people. So with just one game card, any of your oh, friends can be the system can join in too. You can tour through all the mischief, magic, and memories the series has to offer. With Mario Party, yeah, the top 100 from launches from on Nintendo yeah. 3DS November 10th. In two days, Metroid Samus Returns finally arrives on oh, Nintendo 3DS. And everyone, everyone, from Metroid fans to Super Smash Bros. fans should take notice. This meticulously crafted side-scrolling adventure contains immersive 3D visuals. Atmospheric exploration-based gameplay, versatile weaponry, powerful new abilities, and some truly wicked bosses. Who or what will you encounter on this deadly planet? Vengeance has a name. Metroid Samus Returns is scheduled for launch September 15th. Atlas always has something good in the works for RPG fans. Nine characters' paths will converge and be Alliance Alive in an all-new old-school RPG from Atlas. Heading to Nintendo 3DS system. Dai, corri, vieni a salvare. Ci vostra. Atlas will play home to Shin Megami Tensei Strange Journey Redux with all of its new content and enhanced graphics. Another Nintendo DS cult classic has since Dai, dai, scendi, scendi. Form of radiant historic ah, perfect so... chronology. The gorgeous launch edition will include a collector's box with an art book and decal sheet. Oh, bello la gente storia. Don't forget to check Nintendo eShop for something else that releases today. The new Etrian Odyssey 5 Beyond the Myth demo. Two new titles from beloved series are almost here. Uncover the mysterious origin of everyone's favorite lawyer, an Apollo Justice Ace Attorney. And soon, the bonds between heroes will decide their fates in Fire Emblem Warriors. Check this out, real quick. Eh, vaffanculo, ma cazzo. Orange white edition of the new Nintendo 2DS XL. And it'll be here before you know it on October 6th. Dai, dai, posso andarmene, posso andarmene. Minchia, 30 anni per recuperare. Dai, dai! Dai! Dai, 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 Sì! Via, 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 di corsa, di corsa, di corsa, di corsa, di corsa, di corsa! Cazzo, 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 ce l'ho fatta, ce l'ho fatta, ce l'ho fatta! Many great powers rule over regions of Ores. The kingdom of Uriah is one of them, its territory contained within their titan. The Orions deeply respect nature, boasting a vast biotechnology. For now, we should keep our troops mobilized while we monitor the situation. Their rival, the militaristic empire Moradain, is another. Controlling titans through mechanical means, they bring heavy armaments to bear as they annex other lands in a bid to save their own from ruin and depletion. I doubt he would have been stopped, even by an army 5,000 strong. The Imperial Province of Goma, a plentiful land now fallen under Ardenian control. And the Indoline Praetorium, whose people revere and worship the Titans. Indol controls the supply of core crystals, which blades are born of. And so despite being a theocracy, they hold much influence over the world's military affairs. 
Next, the Argentan Trade Guild. A shrewd consortium of traders, they do well for themselves by deftly navigating the strained relations between other nations and exploiting wartime demand. And last but not least, Torna, carrying out secret operations under the Cloud Sea to achieve their mysterious goals. Before long, this world will fall into turmoil over efforts to find the legendary blade, the Aegis. That is precisely the kind of scenario that I mean to prevent. Hand her over to a groaner. The Aegis must be destroyed. <laughs> then I shall Aegis too and make mountains of cash. I'm guessing your goal is Elysium. That is our dream. Who will find the Aegis? Who will make it to Elysium? Only time we can. Welcome to Orrest, the world of Xenoblade Chronicles 2. My name is Azota. Oh yes, that's me, right there. I may be relatively small, but I am also a titan. And this little troublemaker is the protagonist of our story, Rex, who lives on my back. I suppose you could say I'm his landlord. And his guardian, too. He refers to me as Gramps. You may call me the same. Rex used to work as a salvager, scavenging useful resources from beneath the cloud sea. Until one day, he met a girl named Pyra, and the two set off on a quest to deliver her safely to Elysium. Can you believe he accepted such a lofty job just to impress the girl? Oh yes, and this is also me. Utterly adorable, if I do say so myself. In Xenoblade Chronicles 2, you too will embark on a journey across the Titan's backs. Each Titan fosters a unique scenery, very different from its neighbors. Some have big open fields, while others boast huge caverns set deep within the Titan's own body. Remember, we Titans are living beings, each with our own quirks, which you must learn to navigate. Of course, you also cross paths with many a dangerous creature on these Titans. It's their home too, but it's sadly inevitable that we part heads from time to time. Those who fight together with synthetic life forms called blades, like Rex does, are known as drivers. When drivers do battle, their weapons and powers are granted to them by blades, such as Pyra, for example. Up to three drivers and three blades can work together at any one time. As you continue attacking with your normal weapons, you constantly work toward charging up your driver. Ma perché questa viene da me? Perché? Dimmi il cazzo di perché. Oh mio dio cazzo, mio dio cazzo. My other, more arcane parts, can cause HP potions to appear. Just use them wisely and watch closely the tide of battle to know when best to deploy them. Blades also support their trusted drivers by using blade arts to increase the power of their attacks, their accuracy, and delight. That way, the drivers can focus on playing a more active role in the battlefield. Just wait till you encounter some tougher opposition. Things won't always go one way, so it's important to learn the benefits of switching blades. By using items called core crystals, Divers can awaken new blades. This is known as resonance. You aren't limited to just one. A single driver can bond with multiple blades. The weapons and arts available to you depend on the blades with which you bond. And you never know what kind of blade you'll get until you awaken them. Sometimes you may muster up some very special ones. Oh, looks like you hit the jackpot this time. You can pick up the three blades in the battle with you. With each blade being either an attacker type, defender type, or a healer type, 
It's important to switch blades and tactics in step with your situation. Like I always say, there's no better game plan than using the right blade for the job at hand. As a basic rule of thumb for drivers, you should always stay abreast of the blades your party members are using and strategize accordingly. By using your art, you fill up your blade's special gauge. When you finally activate one of these specials, the driver will return the weapon to its blade owner, enabling the blade to deliver a devastating attack. Blade specials have four levels of intensity, and I must say, levels three and four are a bit too wild for my case. So, what do you think? You're still a bit green, but one day you may work your way up to being a great driver yourself. There is much more to learn, but consider this a sneak peek. You can combine arts into something more and really turn the tide. And now, it's past my bedtime. Your journey through the clouds begins when Xenoblade Chronicles 2 launches on Nintendo Switch December the 1st. The world of all rest is waiting for you. Alongside the regular version, we will be offering a special edition, including a sound selection CD, a special metal game case, and a 220-page hardbound art book. You can also look forward to the release of the Xenoblade Chronicles 2-themed Nintendo Switch Pro Controller, sold separately. Speaking of Nintendo Switch, we have some more headlines for you. Splatoon 2 is one happening game. Backed by popular demand, it's Kelp Dome. Now with some fresh twists, like extra grace to slip through, and a bit of added turf on each side for your aching pleasure. Watch out though, shooting up and down through those graded platforms can get pretty crazy. Now for something new, Snapper Canal. In this stage, a river is running right down the middle. The key to victory? Figuring out how to break into the central area and then push through the other team's base. Also, we're introducing a new Brella weapon, called the Tenth Umbrella. It's sort of like a regular umbrella, except, whoa, that's huge! The kind of looks like a big camping tent, capable of oh, starting so over cool. a large area. The Kelp Dome stage we showed earlier will be available to play Friday evening. We're planning even more weapons and stages for future releases, so Splatoon 2 should stay fresh for a long time. Warriors from across the Fire Emblem series have been summoned to stop the Chaos Dragon and uncover the mystery of the Shield of Flames. Each one will face armies a thousand strong by unleashing devastating attacks. As their stories unfold, new combinations of characters will mingle and bond on the battlefield of Fire Emblem Warriors. And now, a beloved warrior is joining the cause. It's Lin. Hailing from Fire Emblem on Game Boy Advance, Lindis of the Lorca lends us her steel. Keep your eyes on the horizon, soldier. A new trailer launches today. If you think I can't hold my own, you're sorely mistaken. Fire Emblem Warriors launches October 20th alongside the special edition, which includes the game, a premium character card set with slip case, a double-sided poster, and a three-CD music set. Separately, the Krom and Tiki Amiibo figures release the same day. The action puzzle game that lets you snip and clip your friends is getting reams of new content on Nintendo eShop and in stores. Snipper Clips Plus, cut it out together. A new expanded version of the game that packs in all the paper antics of the original, plus more than 30 new stages, including a world based on comic books. Oh, and get this. A new feature lets you replay all the original stages in a brand new way. You start with one of many random body shapes that will require some hilarious new approaches. So fans of this cult hit and newcomers alike can enjoy all of this new content with friends and family. Zipper Clips Plus, Cut It Out Together launches November 10th. This content will also be available for current owners of the original game to purchase as DLC in Nintendo eShop. You've never seen a shooter like this before. Change your size to change your powers in Morphe's Law, a local and online team-based multiplayer shooter coming to Nintendo Switch. With teams of shape-shifting robots, this is no ordinary shooter. Hitting a Morphe's body part will make it shrink, 
can make the same body part of that shooter grow. As the size of each body part changes, your abilities will change too, forcing you to change tactics as well. Example, larger legs will improve your jumping game, and your hand size changes the way you use your grappling hook. Clever players might even transform their allies. Eh, vaffanculo, ma cazzo, non è possibile. Combined, so keep it safe. The team with the tallest avatar wins the round. Morphe's Law launches first on Nintendo Switch as a console exclusive in winter 2017. If you kept up with the news from E3 2017, then you probably heard that Rocket League is coming to Nintendo Switch. This new version of the rocket-powered sports game will include all the modes fans have come to expect, along with some new Nintendo Switch exclusives, like Mario and Luigi Toppers and the first ever Nintendo themed battle cards along with the new edition of local wireless multiplayer check out Samus's gunship with its wave beam boost followed by the Mario and Luigi NSR and its superstar boost just pick the blue team to play as Luigi or the orange team to play as Mario but to wrap your love for Nintendo you'll first have to earn these sweet wheels in the game you'll have your chance when Rocket League launches on Nintendo Switch this holiday season Arena of Valor is a multiplayer online battle arena game designed by the experts at Tencent Games. Explore and command a roster of over 35 fearless heroes, with roles including tanks, muster up some dead, 5,000 strong. Nintendo eShop, right after this presentation. The packaged version will launch at a later date. 3DS version of the game, but now's a great chance to jump into the series for equipment and items you'll earn. Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga plus Bowser's Minions laughs its way to Nintendo 3DS systems October 6th. The new Goomba and Koopa Troopa amiibo launch that same day. Super Sun and Pokemon Ultra. case and luckily some things run in the family nintendo eShop right after this presentation returns finally arrives on nintendo 3ds and everyone from metroid fans to super smash brothers fans should take notice this meticulously crafted side-scrolling adventure contains immersive 3d visuals atmospheric exploration based gameplay versatile weaponry powerful new abilities and some truly wicked bosses who or what will you encounter on this deadly planet Vengeance has a name. Metroid Samus Returns is scheduled for launch September 15th. Atlas always has something good in the works for RPG fans. Nine characters' paths will converge and be Alliance Alive in an all-new old-school RPG from Atlas, heading to Nintendo 3DS systems in early... To save their own from ruin and... ...as rule over... Live in this cloud sea, and the people have within the Titan's own body. And attacks their accuracy in the night. Looks like eight specials have four levels of each. Called two themed Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. Sold to We're introducing a new alongside the special edition, which includes the game, a premium character card set with slipcase, a double sided poster, and a three. You've never seen a shooter like this before. Change your size to change your powers in Morphe's Law, a local and online team-based multiplayer shooter coming to Nintendo Switch. With teams of shape-shifting robots, this is no ordinary shooter. Hitting a Morphe's body part will make it shrink and make the same body part of that shooter grow. As the size of each body part changes, your abilities will change too, forcing you to change tactics as well. Example, larger legs will improve your jumping game, and your hand size changes the way you use your grappling hook. 
clever players might even transform their allies on purpose. Your team's avatar is only as big as your team members combined, so keep it safe. The team with the tallest avatar wins the round. Morphe's Law launches first on Nintendo Switch as the console exclusive in Winter 2017. If you kept up with the news from E3 2017, then you probably heard that Rocket League is coming to Nintendo Switch. This new version of the rocket-powered sports game will include all the modes fans have come to expect, along with some new Nintendo Switch exclusives, like Mario and Luigi Toppers, and the first-ever Nintendo-themed battle cards, along with the new addition of local wireless multiplayer. Check out Samus's gunship with his wave beam boost, followed by the Mario and Luigi NSR and his superstar boost. Just pick the blue team to play as Luigi or the orange team to play as Mario. But to rub your love for Nintendo, you'll first have to earn these sweet wheels in the game. You'll have your chance when Rocket League launches on Nintendo Switch this holiday season. Arena of Valor is a multiplayer online battle arena game designed by the experts at Tencent Games. Explore and command a roster of over 35 fearless heroes, with roles including tanks, assassins, mages, support, warriors, and marksmen. Build the ultimate team with your friends to crush your opponents in real-time online battles. First Blood, Double Kill, Triple Kill, and all the features MOBA fans know and love will be included. Discover and dominate all the gameplay modes, including 5v5, 3v3, 1v1 and a unique hook wars mode to you know, your skills and your valor and as a true champion. Draw first blood, carry your team to the finish line and become a legend in the arena. Arena of Valor beta test version will be available for free this winter. Live another life in another world in this timeless epic coming to Nintendo Switch. Winner of more than 200 Game of the Year awards, Bethesda Game Studios' open-world adventure, The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim, where you can virtually be anyone and do anything, can now be played anywhere. The ancient evil of dragons threatens the future of Skyrim. As the prophesized dragonborn, you are the only one who can stand against them. The type of hero you will become depends on the skills you choose to hone. From archery, to crafting, to destruction magic and more. Your choice of skill can dramatically impact your adventure. So even if you've played Skyrim before, you can create a new character with a new path. So steal yourself like a true hero of legend. The Champion's Tunic, the Hylian Shield, and the Master Sword can be acquired by tapping a compatible Legend of Zelda character amiibo figure. Or, you can always seek out these treasures as you explore the vast world. This version of the game launches exclusively on Nintendo Switch November 17th in Europe and the Americas. Bethesda Softworks is bringing two iconic first-person shooters to Nintendo Switch. Sì, l'ho visto, sto andando avanti. No, no, ma c'è quel gioco là, aspetta, oh, aspetta, 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 aspetta. c'è sto gioco, a me mi piace questo. Però peccato che solo... Lo fanno uscire... Aspetta, eh, scusa, se vuoi un attimo indietro. Questo, questo, questo è bello, questo. Questo però fa uscire la bella a fine anno, cazzo io lo voglio questo gioco. With roles including tanks, assassins, mages, support, warriors and marksmen. Build the ultimate team with your friends to crush your opponents in real time online battles. First blood, double kill, triple kill, and all the features MOBA fans know and love will be included. Discover and dominate all the gameplay modes including 5v5, 3v3, 1v1 and a unique hook wars ah, that will challenge your demo, skills eh? and prove your valor as a true champion. Draw first Va blood, turn your team to the finish line and become a legend in the arena. Mm -hmm. The Arena of Valor beta test version will be available for free this winter. Live another life in another world in Octopath this time that is coming to Nintendo Switch. Winner of more than 200 Game Boy Awards, scaricato. Bethesda Game Studios' open-world adventure, The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim, where you can virtually be anyone and do anything, can now be played anywhere. The ancient evil of dragons threatens the future of Skyrim. As the prophesized dragonborn, you are the only one who can stand against them. The type of hero you will become depends on the skills you choose to hone. From archery, to crafting, 
to destruction magic in there. Your choice of skill can dramatically impact your adventure. So even if you've played Skyrim before, you can create a new character with a new path. So steal yourself like a true hero of legend. The champion's tunic, the Hylian shield, and the master sword can be acquired by tapping a compatible Legend of Zelda character amiibo figure. È uscita adesso. Ma porca la come cazzo. Ecco, questo. Octopath Traveler. È uscito adesso, adesso. Nuova demo di zecca. Minchia, guarda che ti fanno uscire, guarda che fanno uscire, guarda che fanno uscire. Minchia, Doom, 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 Switch, Doom, e Wolfenstein 2, Wolf, Wolf, Wolfenstein, Wolfenstein 2 su Switch. Cioè, ma tu te rendi conto, Wolfenstein 2 su Switch. This mode has its own leaderboard, encouraging you to try and move up to the next class. It also introduces a red-hot new stage surrounded by bubbling magma. Si ma Wolfenstein, io lo compro, subito. Your character will become harder to control. Some other new mechanics are being added too. E chi se ne frega degli obiettivi? The new update will usher in local wireless play as well. Vabbè, terze parti, non solo, non solo Bethesda. Ah, questo che è invece? Flip Wars Available Now. Che cazzo è il gioco? Riconosci questo arcade cabinet? Ha sicuramente stato un tempo, ma finalmente, dopo molti anni, i nostri arcade titoli stanno facendo un ritorno. E la prima è... No, che non c'è Flip Wars. Ah, ma io aspetta, perché sto guardando la... Scusa un attimo, io sto guardando la... quella europea, guardando su quella americana, andiamo sulla... sulla... sullo shop americano. Eh, io sto aspettando pure cosa, comunque. Questi arcade games che non trovare Io sto aspettando FIFA 18, per essere molto sincero che forse compro FIFA 18. Sembra molto bello, molto bello FIFA 18. Ah, i nuovi amiibo, eh, cazzo. Ah, questo mamma mia, questo è bello, mamma mia. Già lo trovo? Scusa un secondo. Andiamo a vedere su Amazon. Lo trovo? Noi amico? No, ancora no. Quello francese? No, ancora no, ancora nulla, ancora nulla. Questo è questo, è questo la, la cosa. E questo la demo.
poi è l'annuale, l'annuale il 14 novembre. Escono troppi giochi da Switch, cazzarola. Ci stanno risorti. Che peccato! Eh, cazzo, guarda qua che grafica della Madonna! Begin your journey as one of eight protagonists, each with their own origin, talents and goals. Where will your journey begin? Who will you team up with? Come fai a dire che non è bello, mamma mia? All these decisions and more are completely up to you, the player. Each character has his or her own path action that can be used to interact with the people they encounter in a distinct way. For example, the warrior Ulbrich can challenge almost anyone to a duel. With one such duel, he could expose an evildoer and bring them to justice, or force someone in his way out of the way. On your guard! The dancer Primrose, on the other hand, can allure others into following her. With this power, she could track down a missing person and bring them back, or lure her enemies into a trap. She can even summon an allure character to help her in battle. Essentially, each character has their own way of achieving their objectives. The developers aim to give players the freedom to choose their own paths and immerse themselves in a deep story through true roleplay. But what about combat? In this game, battles are a fusion of simple pick-up-and-play, turn-based battles, and all new mechanics. One such mechanic is the boost system, which allows you to accumulate boost points with each turn you take a battle. You can then spend them to dramatically increase the strength of your attacks and abilities, or use it to chain attacks. Eh beh, se non due cazzo è bello, una figata della Madonna. Eh, ma se non ha fatto vedere qua stronza. Capu. Later today, a demo version of Project Octopath Traveler will launch worldwide in Nintendo eShop. Yeah, ecco, per Nintendo visto che c'è un culo che mi fa, mi viene a becca a me, mi sembra molto giusto. Grazie mille a quella stronza che va a fanculo. Scusatemi, eh. Scusatemi, ma che cazzo di... Eh, beh, se due cazzo è bello. Oh, ma, ma esce la cosa, esce, le... esce la versione quella Collector. Col CD e tutto quanto. La Sky qual è? Scusa, qual è, qual è Sky? Eh, qual è Sky? Poi sei sicuro che, che esce su... La Fangoo. As announced at Gamescom, the next update adds in a new stage and a new fighter named Olohop, with three tricky new arms. But there's another new feature as well. Now you can re-map the controls to the buttons of your choice. After all, this game's all about flexibility. The best part? This new arms update goes live shortly after this presentation. The goddess Rubis has spoken, and you have been chosen. Dragon Quest Builders is destined for Nintendo Switch. The game is a big hit in Japan, mixing the fun of building with an overarching story and a combat of magic RPG. 
Ma come cazzo mi ha fatto? Ma no! Ma... Eh, speriamo che esce. Ma Sky è quello che hanno fatto a Cosi? Oh, vaffanculo. Ma è quello che hanno... Sky non è quello che hanno presentato a Coso? Oh, esce pure questo qua! Ah, ho capito, ho capito. Non è quello che esce su iPhone, no? Quello nuovo? Ma cazzo di... Ma vaffanculo va. Ma ce ne stanno tre, quello che sta in pronto, Ecco, ecco, la prendi lei, prendi lei, sta qua, sta qua, si è fermata, vai. Che stronzo che sono. Aspetta, c'è quello che sta là aspetta, aspetta, aspetta. Ma è quello che esce su iPhone, no? Quello che hanno presentato ieri. Sto facendo strane cose qua. Sposta i pavigioni. Ah, questo sta qua. Sì, ma quello lì hanno detto che faceva schifo quel cazzo di... Faceva schifo quel, quel gioco su... Su iPhone, eh, non era bello quel lento. Lo devo rivedere un attimino bene perché non l'ho visto tanto bene. Io stavo al lavoro quando l'ho visto. Eccolo Mario! Hello everyone, I'm Yoshiaki Koizu, the producer of Super Mario Odyssey for Nintendo Switch. Today we're going to recap a little of what we've already shown, but also reveal some new information about the game as well. Mario isn't too happy about Bowser trying to marry Princess Peach. And Cappy, his new friend from the Cap Kingdom, has a mission of his own to rescue his sister Tiara. And now the hero and his hat must join forces. Somehow, Cappy can grant his wearer free control over his powers. So together with Mario, they'll travel the globe and make good use of Cappy's skills, especially the new capture ability, which allows Mario to take control of many enemies, animals, and objects. So troppi giochi da comprare. Su Switch. This globe-trotting adventure will take them all over the place. New Dawn City in the Metro Kingdom. Coast Arena in the Sand Kingdom. Mount Balbono in the Luncheon Kingdom. Steam Gardens in the Wooded Kingdom. Bonneton in the Cap Kingdom. Fossil Falls in the Cascade Kingdom. 
And today, for the first time, we're introducing Shiveria in the Snow Kingdom. This ice-cold realm will chill you to the core. Now, take a look at Bob Lane in the Seaside Kingdom. It's a popular travel destination for many thanks to its gorgeous, crystal-clear waters. Apparently, the seawater has a refreshing fizz like it's carbonated. But we won't spoil them all. Mario has even more kingdoms to visit, including tropical islands. To get from place to place, Mario is literally traveling in style. Aboard his cap-shaped ship, the Odyssey, it runs on power moons scattered across the world. By collecting them, you can power up the Odyssey and make it to the next kingdom. The number of power moons required to reach a destination is different for each kingdom. Forse usciamo, forse usciamo. There are even more power moons than that, which should keep your inner treasure hunter hungry for more. I mean, some of these things are really hidden. You may need to acquire one by solving a puzzle or defeating enemies. They're hiding everywhere. So make sure to explore oh, every corner of the world you've ever Ma ci ho provato, devo like finirla. Dai, vai a finire, vai a finire, vai a finire. No, ma già sono morto. Ma va a cagare. You can also give a few coins to the hint toad. Or even tap Amiibo with some help from Uncle Amiibo to reveal a power. Sto vedendo troppo là vicino, voglio provare a finirla. If you're feeling stuck, it's worth a shot. Yahoo! Oh, trotting does have its benefits. You may find, find places to play mini games like Koopa Free Running or a Jumbo Challenge. You'll earn power moons based on your results. And you can check out the scores and times of other players the world over if you're connected online. Ah, ok, questo qua è il multiplayer. Also, the game world is home to a franchise of shops called Crazy App. There you can obtain outfits and other stuff with the coins you've collected. Then customize Mario's look. Some outfits are thematically tied to the kingdom you're in or to a game from Mario's story past. So don't be afraid to play a little dress up just to suit your mood. Match your surroundings. Or just because. And don't, don't forget, forget to let the Odyssey in on the action with decorative stickers and souvenirs from Crazy Cup. Ma hanno detto che c'era il multiplayer, io non ho capito questo. C'era il multiplayer, no? L'ho fatto vedere o no? Ah, era un uso per la missione di Luke. That's where snapshot mode comes in. Simply freeze time at any moment. Snap some fun photos of Mario. And go for a close-up. You can blur your surroundings, change color schemes, you name it. You can even rotate the camera and nail that vertical photo for your smartphone. You can post it to social media or use it as wallpaper on your PC or smartphone. For many, Mario games are all about making memories, so capture away. Ma come poco importa? We've taken great care in creating these detailed sandbox environments for you to explore and to make the most of Mario. Poi guarda, questo qua si annulla qui. Finisco la live e vado a trovare parte di di demo, no? Inside a wide world of things you've never done before. Even the song that's playing right now is a Mario series first. Quanto comunque quasi le due sono. Dovrei andare a dormire un attimo. Preparo la, la, la switch. Super Mario Odyssey.
27 ottobre. Primo dicembre, 27 ottobre. Ma come cazzo si fa? Ma come si fa? Dillo di come si fa. Come cazzo si fa? Io è quello che voglio dire. Come fai? Come fai? E io come fate? E poi finirà così. E che devi fare? Boh, boh, bo, bo. rimuoviamo. Abbiamo un'altra cosa che vogliamo parlare oggi. Guardate Vabbè, Link, è stato un piacere che sei venuto a quest'ora. Che abbiamo parlato di questo 27 ottobre di Mario. Grande Mario. Primo dicembre, Z Xenoblade 2. Annama rapina dei banche, Annama rapina dei banche, non è possibile. Ah, ma io te l'ho detto, io il 7 novembre ho pure in pre-order l'Xbox One X. Buh, non so, devi prendere tutti questi sorti. Boh. E vabbè. Comunque, Link, grazie di aver seguito. Io intanto me ne vado a fare questa bellissima demo che è già qua pronta per, per andare a letto. E niente, alla prossima, alla prossima, signore e signori, grazie mille, Periscope People, thank you to come inside my community channel, and see you next time, thank you very much, bye bye, ciao Link, ciao!